Before I came here, I was pretty lost. I didn't really know what I was going to do. Uh, this, this program definitely, I'll say without a doubt, changed my life. The knowledge and experience you gain from this program is second to none. Being outdoors and getting into this kind of line of work, you know, the fresh air, it really helps to pick you up. My name is Benjamin Flory. I served in uh, the United States Marine Corps. I uh, served for six years, from 08 to 2014. My name's Kevin Aguilar. I'm from Aurora, Colorado. I spent four years in the United States Marine Corps as a rifleman with 1st Battalion, 5th Marine Division. So the training that we're getting through VFC um, has to do with setting us up in the future for positions with either uh, the Forest Service or BLM, um, just anywhere in the country to get our foot in the door, get all of our certifications, um, get us our project hours, uh, chainsaw experience, and to put that into one big packet resume. I'm a very timid person and I've always been nervous to try new things in the VFC program. You know, it's, it really gave me a good foundation. It's definitely jump-started my career as a wildland firefighter. So the Veterans Fire Corps program through 21 CSC is extremely important because it gives um, guys like me, guys, you know, men and women like me, who just are missing something in their lives when they get out of the military service, whether it's the camaraderie, uh, the work ethic, or those around you. Um, any number of reasons why you might feel uh, that the transition has been rough, um, you can get back into that kind of uh, relationship with other people and especially on a veteran's crew, um, one of the most therapeutic things you can do is speak with other vets and just be in that community again. Um, it's just, it's, it's a mental health issue really, uh, the way I see it. Now, if I had the opportunity to speak with a member of Congress regarding um, AmeriCorps, the Conservation Corps, and the 21 CSC, I would just tell them it's their, it's their responsibility as our leaders to ensure that the veteran population is taken care of. Um, if you're going to send a group of individuals to war, uh, then you need to be damn sure that you're, you're going to take care of them when they get back and make sure that they have the opportunities that they need to transition back into civilian life. Honestly, I am just so appreciative of the opportunity that I've been provided here. Um, I'm able to use the, a lot of the skills I learned in the military, um, as well as picking up more skills as a civilian. Um, I'm able to uh, take on leadership roles again. I'm able to um, show that I know how to work hard. I'm able to take care of tools in a professional manner. Um, and just, I guess just having that professionalism again gives me a lot more self-worth and self-respect. My continued national service through AmeriCorps uh, means a lot to me. Um, basically, I just enjoy helping people. Um, I like working real hard. And if I can make my community safer, make my community stronger uh, through what I do in my daily activities, um, you know, I feel like uh, that's, that's a pretty important part of serving your country. Um, you know, I'm not doing it in the military anymore, but I, I can still make a difference and I can still put my work ethic to good use.